Hey everyone, welcome to Manchester! Yeah, I, I want to stop doing this stupid thing. What? This stupid MTV thing, it's stupid. Okay. Hi, so as expected, being an internet person with absolutely no privacy, it's time for me to give you the obligatory tour of my new flat. Yes, I have moved out of the yellow prison cell that was my university halls into a place that doesn't resemble Guantanamo Bay. Going down. <laughs> Doors closing. This is our hallway. Yep. And this is my bedroom. Yeah, it's pretty swag. Yes, unlike my uni room where I had just about enough room to stand between the desk and the bed and go like that before I touch the wall, now I'm like... <laughs> These are my stuffed toys, because I have the mental age of a ten-year-old. Clothes, where I keep my victims, the purple area, my limited edition Guild Wars cloth, because I'm a massive nerd, oh my god. Kanye posters, where I what? <laughs> now this is cool. This is an amber lamp that I got from Morocco, and it's all real amber, and in some of the little crystals you can actually see little bugs that have been preserved for 200 million years. So you know, when I get some spare time, I'm thinking I'm making Jurassic Park. This is what I smell like. Hello Kitty Pez Dispenser, because I'm that cool. And uh, this is my bed! Yeah, I came with these really naff blue cushions. This room needs more brown. Brown! Indian cloths. Indian cushion. And an Indian rug, which is really cool. Some shiny, shiny crystals. We've got an elephant piggy bank. My box of secrets, which no one must ever know the contents of. My dream diary, which I've been keeping for 11 years. Books in drawer, make of them what you will. And here we have my bear! I've actually had this bear since the day I was born because my grandma gave it to my mum after she gave birth to me, so yep, you can see. Harrods, 1991. Yeah, he's gone through some costume changes over the years, currently choosing to be a killjoy bear. I may or may not have slept with it in my bed for 18 years. A Venetian mask from Venice, which currently has pegs through his eyes, which I thought was quite cool. Meow. Then we have the awesome zone. Here are my shoes for all you shoe perverts. I know you're out there. Mmm, sexy shoes. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh. Xbox, TV, Connect, rock band controllers, Africa Leopard, a wooden frog that makes a frog noise when you stroke it, <coughs> Cloud, and my speakers, which I brought specifically to annoy the people underneath me. And I don't actually have a desk in this room at the moment, which to be honest isn't that much of a problem, seeing as I don't do any work at university anyway. So yeah, from this moment, this room is only going to get filled with more and more crap. Oh, and if you didn't know, I'm living with Phil this year, which uh, has its ups and downs. Ups include the massive DVD and games collection that we have together, which we actually have no room for in our one shelving unit. Uh, microwave popcorn and someone that I can force to play rock band with me. But, uh, you know, there are some downs. Um, you see, until yesterday, I didn't think I had any OCD behaviours, but uh, as it turns out, let's look at my bedroom again. Everything's symmetrical. It's so ordered. Then let's look at Phil's room. The horror! The horror! I can't deal with it seriously, plus like, whenever he goes into the kitchen- Oh, kitchen? He leaves every single cupboard door open. He'll literally go to make a bowl of cereal and then the kitchen will look like this. Yeah, I sound weird now, don't I? Also, because he has more subscribers than me, he gets the ensuite bathroom. Yeah, enjoy your crappy one without a bath. It doesn't even have a bath. <laughs> this is our lounge area. Pretty cool, huh? Dining table, three sofa, two sofa, weeble cat. <laughs> and the geek zone. Yep. And a breakfast bar, how awesome is that? This is never going to be used. Our to-do list, featuring Lego Dan and Lego Phil, as made by Mimi, Molly and Paper Lilies when we were in LA last year. Yeah, this year I actually plan on learning to cook good food, so in preparation for this, I have bought two Delia Smith cookbooks of Amazon. Oh yeah. Here's our current fridge for all you fridge perverts. I know you're out there. Balcony! This is where I like to, you know, smoke all my cigars and stuff. Oh yeah. Now, aside from having a great view of the city, this balcony is great for voyeurism. Because not only can we snoop on people working, but in fact we can look inside most of these people's apartments and they can't see into ours. Also, directly across from us is this business hotel where serious business people come to do 
business trips for the weekend, and little do they know that even when you draw the red curtains, as soon as they turn their light on, you can see straight into their hotel rooms. Let's just say I've seen a lot of things I didn't necessarily want to see while I was eating my Cheerios. However, this is a two-way process, as I realised the other day when I walked onto the balcony in my pants to sing some Lion King songs, when I suddenly became aware that most of Manchester could see me. But yes, that was our new apartment. From now on, my videos are probably going to be filmed here. So in the typical YouTube tradition, if you've just moved into a new place, then please feel free to post a video response and I will check it out. But uh, yeah, see you guys later. And here's our breakfast bar for all you breakfast bar perverts. What's a breakfast bar pervert? <laughs> Everything is a fetish. Mmm, breakfast bar. Breakfast bar.